I gotta find Grandma. My dad won't wake up. Let's go. Dude, I'm so excited for this game. Especially with this opening music. Hold on, I'm gonna shut up for a moment. Bruh. <laughs> the music here, I freaking love piano pieces. I'm sure I've mentioned it before on Stream Noodle. Thank you so much for the five bits, by the way. Um, fantastic. I love that. Okay, let's go through the options real quick. See if there's anything we need to set before we go into the game itself. I got to turn it down a little bit too now. Options. Uh, okay, this... <laughs> what do we got here? We have play media clips. What's that? Music and movie clips. Oh, cool. Okay, so we can, like, rewatch things, listen to music as we unlock it and whatnot. Controller settings. Yeah, we don't need to change any of that. The default's fine. Camera settings. I'm glad they have reverse for both. Uh, left, right, and up, down. But I don't know what the default is, so... I don't know if I actually need to change that or not. We'll have to come back to that, probably. Vibration on. I don't understand why it's ever off by default. Confirm. And return. Close menu. Let's get into the game, shall we? I don't want to dilly-dally too long. I, uh, like I said, I've actually been really excited to try this game for a while. So, yeah. I do want to just double-check real quick, though. Mana series. I'm pretty sure this is technically the third game in the series. Uh, never mind. This is... <laughs> so there's Final Fantasy Adventure, which is the one that I played. Um, it is a mana game, even though it's called Final Fantasy Adventure. Then there's Secret of Mana, Trials of Mana, Legend of Mana, Sword of Mana, and then... Children, I'm guessing this is all one game with different names. There's Children, Friends, and Dawn of Mana. Um, so this is Dawn of Mana. So this is actually, what, one, two, three, four, five, the sixth game in the series? Holy hell, dude. And then I know there's uh, there's been, like, some remakes in one or two. I have uh, the Collection of Mana. That's a, that's a group of remakes. That's how I played. Uh, was, that the, was that where I played Final Fantasy Adventures? I think that's on. That one's on there i don't remember but anyways uh yeah no really fun actually uh the original one plays a little bit like not really like final fantasy at all it's like uh i don't know a little bit like legend of zelda i guess a little bit not really i don't know you just have to kind of look at it and figure it out <laughs> it's fun though for for a original game boy game it's a lot of fun Pretty opening cutscene. What do you mean when the world was still flat? You can't make up stuff like that just to spice up a story. What if all the little kids out there take it as fact? Watch that mouth. You're hardly as scully yourself, Hot Pants, you know. Half-grown spirits like you should listen more and talk less. Not all of us are as old as dirt, you know. And I'm not the one telling fairy tales acting like I was there You the two fools are at it again. Let's save your little grudge match for later. This, the eight of us are here for a reason, and it isn't fisticuffs. We need to go over certain God, she's Scottish. and make sure we've got them right. Correct you are. Tonight is a super exclusive spirit conference. We must discuss the link between our spirits and humanity. I'm the origin of the mana tree. Anything, no? Ah, you're right. Sorry. I ought to stay grounded and not lose my head. The night is brief, and I've got more sinister things to do. Listen up, my fiery friend. You can extinguish that temper, because you know we have a lot to do. Okay, okay. Go ahead. 
Go on with your story. <clears throat> on the sacred island of Anuja stood a small and solitary village. I'm already in love. <laughs> there dwelt what were known as the tree folk. They lived in peace, blessed by the beauty and bounty of nature. Little did they know their peaceful days would soon come to an abrupt end. This is where we come in, where the humans come in. This scene in particular is giving me Nino Kuni vibes. I don't know why, but just right here, not the rest of it. Why did I not play these games as a child, is what I want to know. Like, I would have loved this, you know, when I was, like, getting into Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy and all that shit when I was younger. Like, this would just slot right in there perfectly. It's a Square Enix title, too. Like... Bruh. I do wonder how the combat's going to work in this game. You gotta go to bed? No! <laughs> Have a good night, Ruth. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a bit. Love you too. <laughs> oh, good night, Ruth. Noodle says good night, Ruth. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the original one works like, kind of, like I said, kind of like Legend of Zelda esque, like the original one. Um, Rue says night noodle. I think noodle's gone. No, noodle's behind me. Night Nate, night stream, night everyone. <laughs> See you, Rue. So I'm wondering if this one's gonna be like Legend of Zelda esque, or if it's gonna be something different entirely. Night Choco, if you're still here. Objects like boulders and barrels commonly found in your travels will be quite useful. You can push these objects by pressing L1 to block. Oh, okay. And then we can just kind of push them around. Wait a second. Can we, like... We can! We can... Oh, it stuns them. I thought it was going to, like... I thought it was going to, like, damage them in some way. No, it's just... It just gives them a little stun. Hold on. I want to press square to send objects flying. Sends them into a panic. You'll find it easier to attack foes when they panic. To attack, press square. Press it repeatedly to execute a combo. So yeah, okay. Legend is out of esque so far, but with a little bit more RPG elements, I think. So enemies drop metals if they are attacked when they're panicking. Green metals are for attack. The vine on the bottom left of the screen shows your current attack power. Wait, the vine on the bottom left of the screen? I'm guessing none of it's grown for us yet, because I don't see any. Red metals are for health. The HP bar on the bottom left indicates your current maximum HP. Effect of metals lasts until the end of the chapter. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Does anyone see this this the supposed vine yet? Also, should we be fighting that little creature there too, or that one seems to like us. I don't know if we want to fight that one. In the upper right corner of the screen is your radar map. The flashing yellow dot indicates your goal. Red dots are foes, white dots are allies, and blue dots are objects or foes that will yield items. Google is listening to all of this <laughs> that I'm saying right now and typing it all out into its search because it thought I said something to it. It's, uh, there you go. It finally gave up. <laughs> it said, sorry, I'm not sure if you were talking to me. I'll disregard what you said. <laughs> God damn it, Google. If you lose your way, press start to view the map of your current location. Hey, wait! Oh, okay, yeah, that was the thing we were searching for. 
That's fine. We'll uh, we'll come back to you. Okay. I forgot to check. How's the camera feel? Down is up. Up is down. Perfect. Left is left. Right is right. That's how it should be. <laughs> My brain works backwards. I'm sorry. I've explained it before, but for anyone who doesn't know, when you press up, the camera physically moves up but faces down, right? And whenever you press down, the camera moves down but physically faces up. That's how I like the camera to work. But for some reason, I don't like using the same... I, I know, Ritzia. For some reason, I don't use the same logic to the horizontal movement to, to the left and right. When I press left on the camera, I want the camera to point left. <laughs> and when I press right, I want it to point right. But that's more because like the way I normally move around in these type of games is I just hold forward on the uh, left joystick, right? And then... And then use... Uh, use the right one to actually move myself around. What are these dice berries for? Other than rolling them. They make a sound when you roll them. And we can break them, but does it do anything? They don't seem to drop anything. Are you another enemy? A mush boom. Do you go boom when you die? Well, I mean, kind of, but everything kind of goes boom. We can destroy the birdhouses? Let's go. Okay, that was a HP thing. The little piece of candy that we found. I will, but I have to explore, dude. I can't help it. Law dictates that I find everything. Wait, can we double jump? We can double jump. Very cool. Okay, the platforming isn't the best. It does feel a little bit awkward. I imagine it's the sort of thing I'll probably get used to over time. Oh, yes. You can't really, like, change your direction all that well midair. Ah! God damn it. Okay. Hold on. Surely this is possible. Can't just jump that high, can I? If I, like, get on the section of the tree right here or something. There we go. Okay, that was that was much easier. Oh, it's just another birdhouse. Oh, <laughs> and a board that we just completely destroyed. Oops. Are there things ever hidden in the barrels, or are they just for for throwing at enemies? I imagine there's probably like a possibility that stuff will be hidden in there, but I don't know. I'm in love with this music, dude. I'm going to shut up again for a second so you guys can properly hear it. Isn't it so good? Somersault by blocking and pressing X. Use X and the left analog stick to dodge in any direction. Okay. So we have a, a dodge roll. Just mirrors. They're like a dragon sound or something, dude. I'm assuming we should be killing shit for experience. Do we actually get XP? I guess I don't know that. You get the, the little pop-ups from them every once in a while. Uh, can I hit that bird? Oh god, there's so many of you. Needle beaks. Assholes. Oh, God. <laughs> There's stuff on carts. Everything's falling apart. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm breaking everything. He lost once tonight. One out of ten. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. So these buffs only last until the end of the level. So is it worth it to, to be collecting all of these? Like, to be killing enemies? Or should we just be ignoring them? Let's go back to the start screen real quick. I just want to see, do we have like a a stats, a character menu or anything like that? We have the map. We have emblems. Marks of achievement. Okay, well, no. Controls, camera. Oh, weird. We don't even have like a... Like an item menu or anything. Oh, we have a lock on. Very cool. I do appreciate that. Okay. Hey, 
Apparently, we're not like free to explore at the moment. We kind of we kind of had to do what the what the girl wants us to do. What did that just say? I wasn't paying attention to the message. I kind of kind of missed what the message said. You've lost two times now. What in the past week? <laughs> You just saw a polydactyl main coon. Ah, how sweet! Oh, where are you going, you little fluff ball? Oh, those weird target objects by pressing R two, enemies by pressing L two. Okay, that's cool. That it differentiates between the two as well. Um, those weird dragon-like noises are just enemies spawning. Get back here, will you? So maybe there's not much point to killing stuff besides like getting those temporary buffs from them. There's destructible environments? What? Can we go? I see there's an opening in the tree. Can we go in the tree? Is there like stuff hiding in it? Just a bunch of really angry birds, it looks like. Okay, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> These birds do not like me, and I do not like them. Press X to jump. The longer you hold down, the higher you leap. You can also jump again in midair. Always good to know. Whenever you defeat a panicked enemy, other enemies marked by red dots on the radar may also drop items. What? So... It's better to panic things because more things might drop stuff around them. The higher the panic level, the more likely it is to drop items when you defeat them. That's a neat mechanic. Sounds like it could be annoying, honestly, but... <laughs> oh, we can panic them by running them into each other, knocking them into each other. Getting all the HP. Let's go. I do finally see our vine growing down there a little bit too, though. Hey, where don't you going, you ignore me. Where, where is it going? There it is. Do I need to be hitting it or something? <laughs> How do I stop the fluff ball from running away constantly? Uh, fluff ball, there's something in your way here. <laughs> Is he helping me or am I protecting him? I think I'm protecting him. Hey, wait! Wait, why didn't you grab him? He was right behind you, dude. Is there like, <laughs> is there a, a, a mission screen? Are we just following this thing around or do we need to lead it in a certain direction? Can we trade this for main coon money? Uh, that's a no love. <laughs> as much as I uh, would love to do such a thing, I don't have that kind of money to trade out for you. <laughs> Oh no, how will I ever afford my private trip to space at this rate? Uh, for some reason, I think you'll be fine. Oh damn, we missed. Oh, did he actually lose again? Good. <laughs> Fluff ball. Striking enemies when they panic can cause them to drop items. Keep up the pressure and see how many consecutive hits you can get. Remember that if you take damage or stop dealing damage for a time, then your hit count will revert to zero. Oh, so combos also increase our, our our chance of, like, getting items and shit. I mean, that makes sense. Final Fantasy XII did something vaguely similar. It was less to do with your, your hit count, though, and more to do with, like, your combo of killing the same enemies. Yeah. 
Okay, it seems like mercilessly beating them after they're already dead doesn't do anything. <laughs> Once they're dead, I think it's safe to, to just leave them alone at that point. God, there's so many enemies, dude. I wonder if the whole game is going to be like this, or... I'm assuming following and following... Falling, not following. Falling in the water would be bad for us. We probably don't want to do that. What is this? Is that a bell? Looks like a bell. So we have dice and we have bells. Oh my god, there are so many enemies, dude. What? What is going on? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, bird. I should probably be using the lock on. I imagine that'd make it a lot easier, especially with like the, the birdie dudes. Okay, where are you going now? Are there more coming? There's more coming. Are you dead? Yes, he must be dead. All right, Fluffball, where are we going? I don't think I can lock onto you. Yeah, no. Press select to review control features and change any of your settings. We good. Okay. We Gucci That's on that. For now. Let's get you back to Ritzia. Yay! First mission complete, dude. Let's go. <laughs> oh, we get a uh, score for each chapter. Crowned foes. What's a crowned foe? Acquired medals are converted into money. Lucre? Lucre? Overall rank B. Not bad for our first time playing ever, I feel like. It's okay. Crack open that ginger ale Mr. Oh, Noodles so kindly brought up. That fluff ball looks a lot bigger now than it did a moment ago. That's better. Thank you, Keldy. Oh, you're going to need a leash, Buju. <laughs> Go take a fluff ball, please. <laughs> For some reason, I don't think the local pet store sells them. Could be wrong, but uh, we'll take a look and see. <laughs> Do you remember Keldy? Maybe uh, somewhere in Japan we can get a, a Keldy plushie. Did I? But we shouldn't hurt trees like that, you know. Because whenever we hurt any living thing, we also end up hurting ourselves. Didn't we just yeah. beat the shit out of like 40 creatures? Is that a mar uh, army march? Yep. The flower, bro. You could have driven around that flower, you dick. Well, then I guess it's a good thing we're not there, huh? <laughs> when the two of them rushed back to Sanctuary, they found the village full of golem soldiers from the Loramarian army. Mm -hmm. And Stroud, the king of Loramara himself, came riding in. He captured all of the tree folk and then herded them in to a few houses. 
Keldrick and Ritzia went to awaken the sacred beast that guarded Elusia and now slumbered beneath the great tree. But the Golem soldiers were one step ahead of them. They seemed to be looking for something there. The pair sneaked past the soldiers and entered the depths of the great tree, hoping to find the sacred beast before the Laura Marians did. They're trying to steal our fluff ball, aren't they? You bet they're looking for my fluff ball. Proceed with save. That's a uh, interesting translation there. Yes, <laughs> I will proceed with save, dude. Yes, save the game. Thank you. Game has been saved. Let's go. Yes, exit the save menu. <laughs> don't, I don't really think you need to ask that, man. We already saved. It's safe to leave. A spirit and a maiden. But for a PS2 game, this is really pretty. Like, especially with how much stuff there is. Like, all of the, you know, the flowers and the, the grass and the vines. And, like, it looks really good for a PS2 game, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Can we talk to you or anything? I do see we have a level down there, so I wonder how we level up. Since we didn't seem to be getting any actual experience. Word has it that the feather you wear came from the guardian beast itself. Maybe it could give us a clue. Do do we wanna <laughs> fuck with that? You like know. you're the one who gave it to me when we were kids. I mean, I've played Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, dude. Sacred beasts aren't something I wanna fuck with. They're big. They're scary. Hmm. These slabs look like they could collapse at any minute. Why are you... You jump and then hold square while you're in midair. You can deliver... I was wondering how we were doing that before. Okay. <laughs> We're just over here destroying temples and shit. What do you think they're looking for? Probably the same thing we are. The beast that protects the island. But to the invaders from the Loramarian army, it's just another obstacle. They must be planning to kill it Wait, then. when did you get down here? Ah! Oh shit, wrong button. Wind acorn? Does that mean there's like... Oh shit. Oh fuck. Something down on them. Did that happen because we broke the wind acorn? Oh. Good job, dude. Oh good, it, it did actually startle all of them. I didn't think it did, but I guess it did mention that like uh the the startling does affect the ones directly surrounding it or whatever too. Okay, that's an earth acorn. So does something happen when it blew up? It did look a little, uh, I don't know, a little brown when it blew up. Maybe, maybe something happened. I'll just take the hard way around real quick. Thank you. You're not going to say anything? No? Okay. Oh, God. Hi. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I'm hitting the, <laughs> yeah, the, our lady friend here. Uh, my bad, dude. Don't mind me. I'm not trying to hit you with my stick, I promise. Okay, well, if you're going left, then I probably want to go right. Right into a dead end, that is. Never mind. Back the other way. Uh... That sound doesn't sound good, dude. Be careful, Ritzia. Oh, yeah, watch I out know, for my I stick, know. dude. We don't really like jump forward or anything whenever we're attacking things. We kind of have to make sure that we're right on top of it before we start 
hitting them. Oh god. <laughs> Those wind acorns are vicious, bro. Are you dead? No, now you are. Any more of you? Yes. Sorry, I know hurting living things, blah, blah, blah. When you hurt living things, you hurt yourself or whatever, but like, bro. Can't help but murder. Oh, we can't grab ledges? Damn. I guess we'll have to take this uh, <laughs> easy pre-made staircase right up to where we were trying to go. Oh, look at that. Convenient things to, <laughs> to drop on them. Oops. I guess I guess maybe we could have used that to our advantage. Oh well. <laughs> God damn it, dude. Could I jump up here? I can, thank God. Hello, mushrooms. Can we going forward now? Ritzia? Not actually what I was trying to lock on to. This is okay. You know what? I give up. <laughs> Obviously, we're not meant to to hit that. Oh, excuse me. What'd you just call me, sir? Take that. <laughs> oh, he's a goblin. What happens if we, like, drop this into the water? Does it, like, follow the path down? It does. Okay, that doesn't really seem to actually do anything for us, though. It's easy to get lost in here. And before we do... Wait, did more people just spawn? They did. Uh, stop scaring my friend, please. Mr. Goblin, sir. Don't appreciate it. Oh, they can block. Look how fancy. Okay, lock on. Gotta remember that's a thing. Guess maybe we need to clear the path. What kind of stick do we have, dude? I haven't seen very many sticks in my life that you can beat rocks with repeatedly. To the point of breaking the rocks, but not the stick. This is definitely a magical stick, dude. I mean, it looks like we just picked it off uh, up off the ground, fallen from a tree at some point, but no. Definitely magic. Is there a way to change what we're locked onto, I wonder? I guess there's only one enemy around right now, so it's kind of pointless to try it at the moment. I wonder if we can break their block in any way. Oh shit, we're breaking the ground that we're standing on, though. Destructible environments in an RPG, man. Very cool. I climb fast. What's this arrow pointing to? Do we need to break it, or am I jumping through it? Probably need to break it so that Ritzia or whatever her name is can get through it, right? Or is she already over here somewhere? Where is she? She's kind of disappeared. Door? No. I'm assuming she's the white dots. Maybe we just need to keep going forward. Look, when all else fails, go the way the game's telling you to go. Usually helps out. Well, that's obviously some sort of magic door. Do we need Ritzia for this? Maybe. Maybe since I didn't break all this junk, she can't get over here? I'm so confused on where the hell she went. She was following me. I thought she would be the white dot. But I didn't see her up here.
Hello, Ritzia? Did, <laughs> did we break the game? <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, over here, maybe. There she is. Uh, I don't seem to be able to break this. I actually don't know what to do here. You can you can follow me now if you want. She seems really intent on walking through here. Maybe from the other side. Maybe I can do something. Let's go back where we were. More more dudes spawned. I hear dudes. Murder all the bros. Oh god, <laughs> I got hit by my own falling stone things. These things pack a punch, dude. I kind of feel bad. That one looks scared. I mean, I guess if a dude came into my house and just started beating the hell out of all of my friends, I'd be kind of scared too. That's fair. Okay, so she's on the other side of this. Oh, those are treasure blocks. Can I break it from this side? No. Okay, I'm already lost, dude. Did the game break or do I need to do something different? Uh, I'm open for any suggestions. Because I am lost. I... Maybe these things? Like, can these things... It's a round stone? Maybe, like... Hitting this off of that will break it or something. Maybe our stick just isn't that powerful. No? Okay. Look, I know I'm stupid, but I don't think I'm that stupid. Okay, this is where Google comes in handy. Uh, Dawn... Of mana. Ritzia. Stuck in hallway? Guide and walkthrough, I guess. Okay, at least it's like right at the beginning, so it shouldn't be too hard to find. Post chapter walkthrough. Here we go. Chapter one. Uh. Acorns here can be both really useful and really dangerous if you hit them. Magic held within, blah, blah, blah. Get rid of the enemies and step on the nearby pedestals to go on some more. Get rid of them and follow the path to reach the next area. Wait, what? We crown the enemies here to make your job easier, but go ahead and do this however you like. Keep making your way to the eastern side of the cliff. Follow the path, taking out enemies and grabbing up treasures as you go. Get the door and follow that path. Save your game and continue along the path until you reach a cutscene. Wait, what? This is not a very helpful walkthrough, dude. <laughs> it told me nothing. It did say something about standing on stuff to get enemies to come in. So maybe, maybe there was something on the ground that I need to, to touch or stand on that I missed. Looking at the ground. There's no other enemies in here. I did kill all of them. Okay. If we go over here, Ritzia doesn't say anything, right? She didn't last time, at least. Ritzia? <laughs> I don't think you're meant to be in here, bro. Damn it. <laughs> 
Uh, Dawn of Mana. I guess Long Play. Oh God. I didn't really want to load up a YouTube video right now, but I guess that's what's about to happen. Okay, that's the beginning of the game. We did all that. Okay, that's too far. We definitely haven't seen any cutscenes yet. What part is this? Where are you at? Okay, those are goblin bros. We did that. Actually, I think that's the part that we're... Yeah, this is the part that we're on right now. Okay, he just walked into it. He walked through the room. He's fighting stuff. He's crowning enemies? I still don't know how that works. I don't remember it popping up and telling us how to crown stuff. I don't know what that means. I saw it on the... Uh on the, the status screen at the end or whatever, though. Okay, he's climbing. He's fighting more stuff. This is where we're at, though. This is where he's at in the video. It's going to be so freaking obvious, and I'm going to be so mad at myself, man. But I don't want to sit here all day trying to figure it out. Okay, he came here, got stuck, turned back. What? Did we not do that? Oh my god. I could have swore that we stood on this at some point. Did we not jump up here? Well, <laughs> at least now we know what buttons look like in this game, I guess. Thank you. I must not have stood on it at some point, or maybe I jumped off it too quick. I brought a tree maiden to a place like this. You really have no idea why he gets angry with you, do you? What do you mean by that? Is that a save point? Uh, sure, why not? Not gonna say no to a free save. Noodle, you gotta be careful with them all ends, dude. Only Nate's allowed to do that and win. No, don't save again. I didn't mean to touch it this time, game. Go back. Ritzia! There you are. Oh god. I feel a sneeze. Is it gonna happen? Oh fuck, bless me. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Can't help but notice this is a lot more uh, cavey and overgrown. Since time immemorial, the great tree has stood here with the eight spirits, keeping watch over the world. But, since then, the tree has turned to stone. If only it could flourish again. Then, just maybe, we could live together with the elemental spirits once more. Maybe. <laughs> oh god, you guys made it angry. Hey, look! What's this? He looks a little scared. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if we should be messing with whatever we're messing with. What do you think this... Oh. Oh, no, Keldy. Throw it away! It's a bomb. This is where we die.
Uh, what? <laughs> what the hell just happened? Oh shit, it like merged with us. We're a mutant now. What happened to me? My arm. Are you all right, Keldy? <sighs> I think I'm okay. I'm not sure about that. Maybe we should go see the village elder. He might know what all this is about. Good idea. Okay, let's go, Ritzia. Hey, Elder, we just snuck into the uh, the secret shrine that we got hidden back here. Went deep into its depths, found this uh, possibly sacred stone thing, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, made it explode. But hey, my arm's now covered in vines, and I got this weird sword-looking thingy. By the power of the mysterious seed, it was a seed. In your right arm, you are now able to use its tendrils as a whip. Press triangle to extend the whip and grab enemies. Hold down triangle to switch to target camera view. You can then use the left analog stick to pan the camera. Press triangle to trap, X to cancel. Okay, so we, we got a first person camera mode and... You can throw a trapped object or foe by pressing triangle again. Some things may be too heavy for you to hold or move. You will need to raise your whip level for those. So I'm guessing this is one of them. Or no, okay, we can actually throw it a little bit. Uh, that was a shitty treasure block. Didn't have no treasure in it. Okay, we're doing a lot more damage now. These round stones before were holding up pretty well to our hits. And now they're actually going down quick though. That's cool. So whatever this magical seed sword that we just got is, it, uh... It knows how to output some damage. I'm guessing we're not allowed to go any deeper right now. Just leaving the way... Is this the way we came? What happens if I jump down there? Wait a second. Was I just... Was I just surfing on my sword? What was that? I didn't... How? <laughs> Is it just after we fall a certain distance? I can't seem to make it happen. Yeah, it was just something he did automatically. I guess maybe we just fall a certain distance or whatever, and then it does that to, uh, like, negate fall damage? Question mark? No, it didn't do it that time. What? I want to know how to surf on my sword, dude. That was sick. Oh, well. All in due time, maybe. All right. Let's actually try and get out of here, though. I think she went down. There was a little hole in the wall here somewhere. This way. See? Right now, I'm running. I could be surfing down this little hallway, dude. That would be awesome. has been defied. Uh, was it me? You are the tree's chosen one. I'm assuming those are some some kind of spirits talking to us right now. You must sit down and for yourself. I know it's telling us to go that way, but are there things down here? Any dudes? Any bros? There they are. Okay, whip. Wait, did that stun them? The act of me using the whip? Or were they stunned because the magical floating block fell near them? <laughs> uh, excuse me? What are you... I don't think you're meant to be up there. Here, come down here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, you're dead. Son of a bitch. This one was like glowing red there for a second. I wonder if it was angry or something.
What was that? I, there was like a little tiny jingle and then an item fell? Huh. I don't know. Well, I'm sure we'll figure out some more about that at some point. Oh, uh, these guys. We can get them with the whip now. By the power of the mysterious seed in your right arm, you are now able to use its tendrils as a slingshot. You can shoot pebbles at enemies or objects by pressing circle. Hold down circle to switch to target camera view. Then use left uh, stick to, to pan. Press circle to shoot. Wow. I didn't know you could do that. Can we, uh... Do we run out of these at any point of pebbles? There is like a reloading sound, like we have to reload it after a few shots. But as far as I can tell, we don't run out of them. Can I throw you at an enemy? Oh, I can hit myself with it. <laughs> Not, not quite what I meant to do, but I mean, hey. It stunned them all the same. These things are like, yo, you just smacked yourself with an acorn? What are you, freaking crazy? <laughs> you can increase your weapon level further by gathering attack medals. At level 2, your sword combos can be up to 4 strikes, and you can shoot up to 4 pellets in a row. When you catch something with your whip, you can twirl it by pressing circle? Oh, dude, you know we gotta try that. You there. Mushroom, bro. Wait, what? Do I like... How do I twirl it in a circle? Huh. I don't quite know how that works. I still don't know how the crowning thing works either. Oh shit, it's almost time for a break. I'm enjoying it too much. How much time do we actually have left? Not a ton, but a little bit. A little bit more. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and take a break here. Seems like a good enough... Oh, wait. It shows a save spot right on the other side of this door. Let's go through this door. Hit the save spot. The you have with us. Those voices. Who are you? Who are you indeed? Save your game? Yes, please. You're assuming this game is going on to the to finish list? Most likely, yes. Um, but it probably won't be one that we roll on right away because I really do want to play the other ones. Um, or at the very least, I want to make sure that the story of this one isn't like a continuation of the other ones because I've only ever beaten the first game in the series. And there's there's quite a few on the uh, on the list. I think we, we counted earlier. What was it? The sixth one in the series? Something like that? Um... So yeah, if the story is completely separate from those ones, then it's fine. Whatever, we can play it uh, soon. If it's not completely separate, then I want to play those first. So I'd do a little bit of research. Either way, it's going on the to finish list. I just don't know if it'll be green right away or not. But anyways, as I said, we are going to take a quick break, guys. Just like three to five minutes so I can get a little bit of a stretch in. Maybe take a drink or two. And then we're going to play at least, uh, I don't know, another 20. 20, 30 minutes after that of this game, probably. BRB. Maybe I can give some help. I know everything you're Bruh, know about this I'm just really time. hoping this kid's dad isn't dead. <laughs> like, now, that's not, <laughs> that's not what I'm ready for right now. now you see some little kid just being like, dude, my dad won't wake oh, up. This no. is not what I want to be doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, the the smoke coming out of the chimney. Well, that's grandma's cottage. Thank you. I've got to go see her right away. You're welcome, young lad. Maybe I'll see you around. We have talking animals. That's always good. That's way too dark for this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, <laughs> I don't think that's what's going on here. But the whole vibe of this so far is, like, pretty light and, and, and uh, easygoing. But at the same time, like... Bro, that that actually does sound pretty serious there, man. 
Like, uh, maybe that old lady that brought us to the village here or whatever. Maybe she could have helped us or something. I don't know. Sorry, the inner completionist in me is telling me I have to check all the way over here where there's nothing. Just to make sure there's nothing. <laughs> I hope so too, Nate. I hope so too, man. <laughs> Well, the picture on the case when you go, it didn't look light, so never know. Yeah, I mean, I do have, this is a complete inbox game that I have, so I have seen that. And I think I may have Googled it at some point to see, like, a YouTube video or something of it. But this isn't anything like what I thought it was. So maybe it just changes a lot later on. I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, I think we need to zoom in a little bit here, at least. All right, come on. We we got to we got to we got to get along with it. I'm uh too much time exploring here. Hey. Hello. But I'm not sure how. That's the easy part. Just go over to them and press the circle button. Got that? We can press her circle button. There you go. What it come say? No. Maybe later. No, I don't. <laughs> Just no. What are we collecting bells for, anyways? Is this like currency in this weird? Is this medieval? I don't. I don't know what time period you would call this. Hi there. Oh, hello. I sometimes come here to get some milk from Grandma. <laughs> I'd best be off. My dad's waiting back in the valley. Oh. You're from the valley? I've heard that there are lots of creatures there this time of year. Yes, there are. It's nice when they all come back after hibernation. It can get a little noisy, though. That's when I like to go to the daisy patch. It's so peaceful there. I can just sit and let the day pass by. I'd better be going. Bye. Okay. So, Valley Girl doesn't really tell us anything useful. A folksy time period? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely folksy. It's medieval-esque, I guess. Maybe at some point it'll, uh... We'll start getting some, some knights in shining armor and shit, and then it'll be true medieval. <laughs> Hello, old man. What you doing? Some... Sometimes it's best to just sit back and think. Watch the clouds go by. Listen to the birds. Huh. The strangest things just come to you when you just think. See, at some periods, like whenever we were talking to that dude, it almost makes me think like Disney-esque or something. But then other times, not so much. Medieval folksy mountain village, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say it was probably inspired by a medieval time period, but not necessarily. All right, all right, I'm back. Just out of curiosity, I do want to take a look real quick and see what the HLTB is on this. How long to beat? Dawn of Mana. How long is Dawn of Mana? How long to beat? That's the link. Uh, wow, okay. It has very little information on it, surprisingly. Uh, there's only been four people that have beat it and logged so as such on uh, how long to beat. But it took them about 14 hours. So it's actually not that long of a game either, surprisingly. For a uh, Square, Square Enix game, I honestly thought it was going to be a fair bit longer. But it's not, so... That means if we do end up uh, playing it to completion on stream, it shouldn't take too, too long. Three, four streams, something along those lines. Now, those weren't completionist runs. Uh, one of them, or two of them were just main story. The other two were main story plus extra. Um, apparently, the extras only took an extra half hour. Don't know how true that is, but that's what it says on HLTV, at least. I, uh, I don't know if I'd go for completionist or just regular. Probably just regular playthrough, honestly. As much as I like completionist runs of things, it's, uh, I don't feel like it's always the best for, for stream.
this where she gets some sort of ability or or is she just useless the entire time what is it Ritzia what okay I don't know why you're saying that a bunch noodle Oh my god, seriously? <laughs> what do you think it is? Love you, weirdo. Hmm. Say, you're pretty up close and personal. Caldi, could it? Maybe it's a spirit. Seems sort of. <laughs> but why? Say, Caldi. Yes. Well, it looks like she's a quick learner anyway. My name is Ritzia. And you are? Kelby? Ritzia. And I am... Faye. Faye? You are a Faye or your Faye? name is Faye? That's your name? <laughs> Reminds me of a Celebi okay. in the Celebi Pokemon movie. I get the point. Oh, for me? <laughs> Thanks so much. Ritzia, we better get going. Right. Lead the way. I wonder if it grants wishes, too. <laughs> Cute little thing, though, I guess. It's uh, <laughs> a little too energetic, maybe. Let's get moving. I just hope it doesn't end up being like uh, Navi and Wind Waker. Oh, okay. We have more stuff now. More UI. Pebbles Z are times, I guess that's times infinite. Power up 20. Level one, is that phase level and stuff? So does Faye like fight alongside us? Oh. Are you alright, Ritzia? I'll take this path and you take the other. We'll meet up at the Guardian Beast Den. See you there, Keldy. Roger. So I'm like the, the sound of this whole <laughs> going to the Guardian Beast <sighs> Den Ritzia's thing. Okay. Doesn't sound like a great idea, bro. Faye is able to use magic. Press R1 to have her cast the selected spell. Faye's spell. View phase spell on the lower right of the screen. Use the directional buttons to scroll through the spells. Power up strengthens Keldrick's attacks. Aegis boots his boosts his defense. Oh god. You must have enough MP in the gauge on the lower right of the screen for Faye to cast a spell. Okay. We are now doing a little bit more damage with each hit. Very nice. It's not a huge power up though, is it? What else do we have? Just those two? Is he actually dead? Yeah, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Okay. You're a spirit just like the rest of us, are you not? That is why we are going to help you. Keep this to that little fellow over there. My mighty breeze creates a whirlwind, which sends all sorts of things flying. That goes for enemies, too. But now suddenly the spirits are granting us all kind of magic and shit? I thought we would unlock these abilities a little bit more slowly, not gonna lie, but not necessarily a bad thing. Is that a... Is that like a horn? What is that? You slingshot ammo on the lower right of the screen. You can scroll with that as well. Maximum number of hex orbs, elemental spirit pellets, spirits can hold at one time. Oh. Ow. 
Are you? I don't think you're the one that hit me, are you? Oh god. Okay, that was a that was a miss. <laughs> Try that again real quick. Hold on. Can we just like quick shoot? We can. Oh hell yeah, dude. That killed the goblin in one hit too. Um there's like a flying thing around here shooting at us, right? One of those beak bros. Give fuck needle beak. I think we're going this way. No. Maybe not. I think we're supposed to be going this way. Shoot him. Good job missing. <laughs> now, like, this doesn't, like, startle them or anything, does it? Am I too close? It won't let me shoot the slingshot. I wonder if I was too close to them or something. Like, maybe you have to be a certain distance away from them before you can do that. Ooh, what is that? MP refill? Okay. So I don't know how to crown things. I'm really interested in what the crowning is. I'm going to look at that real quick, too, before we finish up. Dawn of mana. How to crown. In need of my services, are you? The power of Earth can bring things together. My magnetic charge will draw enemies and objects around it. Okay, is that like more ammo for our slingshot? Gnome, okay. So what does that do? It draws in objects around it. Dope, okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> under the right circumstances, that thing messes people up is what it does. Holy hell. Can I, can I actually hit you? I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter with this one because, yeah, it's just going to rip everything into you anyways. Uh, the crown thing. There we go. There's our first crown. So the crown is like you get them into a level 99 panic or whatever. And then I think you have to hit them afterwards with with something. And that puts them into a crown. And uh, for crowning enemies, you get more drops as well as a higher rank at the end of the, the level. So what happens like... Oh, okay, they all ran away. I was going to hit one, like, right in front of it, because there's all this stuff to draw towards them, right? So I was thinking maybe, like, if we shot one and then... Wait, what? I came to this island from far, far away when I was only a baby. Oh, God, wind. Faye's magic reaches level 2. You can increase her magic level further by gathering MP medals. Level 2, Faye is now able to cast Purify and Healing Light. Purify cures Keldrick of all status ailments. Healing Light restores some HP. That all makes sense. Uh, are you a boss? You're a boss. Do bomb? Ground him. <laughs> so it seems like the, the gnome one scares the shit out of people. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess makes sense, dude. The crown, or the, the gnome one is the way to go whenever we want to crown people. It makes it fairly easy to do so. Trying to figure out what the goblins are actually saying, but I can't understand it for the life of me. Ricky is not here. She might be further in. Uh, let's hope so, at least. She didn't, like, get lost or something. Did she? God forbid something worse. We get Waffle Crisp? I mean, if you really want to try it, I know I'm super late on that message. I just, I was so sucked into the game, I didn't see it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to try it, we'll get some Waffle Crisps, love. Exit menu, yes. And down the hall. And down the hall. 
And through the door? Maybe. I see a white dot. I assume that means we're getting close. It's probably a bad time to use that, but... Wait. What is... What just... Maybe there's some place to climb up. What just happened? Did Faye grab me? I was floating in the air there for a moment. Ow. <laughs> Get fucked. Oh my god, I don't like spinning things. Oh, it's... Oh god. Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Spinning things make me nauseous, that's all. <laughs> Is there anything to grab here that I care about? No. Get away from the dudes. We're dead. Or not dead, but we fell again. Eager Goyle? Is that what it is? Waited so long you lost interest. So, wait, you don't want them anymore? I mean, if you don't want them anymore, that's fine. We don't have to get them. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Why am I having trouble jumping on these ones? I guess maybe we should just use regular pebbles. Ow, you dick. <laughs> you broke a lantern? Oh god, it does like no damage. Oh wait, it did uh, destroy the pillar that he was on though it looks like. I think uh, it'd actually be smarter to shoot the pillar. There you go, dick. <laughs> I forgot we have the whip. We could have probably just whipped him off of there too. Okay, okay. There we go. Just gotta time it right. Oh, I don't know. And I don't care, because I'm one of the tree folk now. I wish we had a little bit more control of ourselves in the uh, in the air when we jump. That's the one thing. The, the platforming isn't great. That, and it doesn't seem to lock on to the closest enemy, necessarily, whenever you are uh, using, like, the, the slingshot. It would be nice if it did that as well. Definitely make it easier to aim at things. Especially, you know, when everything is tilting and rolling the way it is. Aw, oh, man. I thought this one was stationary for a moment. I got excited. <laughs> no more nausea. Okay, I'm assuming we have to go around the room. Over here somewhere? Maybe not. Where are we going there? Kelby, good. You oh, Ritzia, thank God. <laughs> you did too. You're not looking any worse for the wear. Okay, let's go. Not looking any worse for wear. Let me smack you a couple times with my fucking <laughs> sword that I have here, real quick. I can't see shit. It's fantastic. Let's go. A special key? Does that open door? Where's the thing? This thing. Yeah. So it looks like they kind of got rid of some of the RPG elements. And then just kind of maximized on the adventure side of things. So it's more like an action-adventure game now, it feels like, than a... Like an action, an ARPG. I mean, there's obviously some RPG elements, but it doesn't look like we have any sort of permanent level ups outside of gaining new abilities. Because if I remember correctly, all the, the things that we collect to increase our HP and, and MP levels and all that BS is only temporary. Like once we get into the next chapter, whenever we lose them. Oh, good job just jumping right over the thing. Angel's Grail, what is that? 
Well, we got it, whatever it is. <laughs> Climb the mysterious tower. Is this the way out or are we going? Does the, the beast live at the top of this tower? <sighs> Looks like a dead end. If there's a sacred beast here, he's doing a good job of hiding. This place scares me, Kelby. That's because it's a tomb, a graveyard. It's filled oh, that's with comforting. the sorrows of the dead from long ago. <laughs> he just fucking yeets himself off. Hey! Sacred beast! Where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are! Keldy! Man and friends, Captain Soul. Who's that? Is that the guardian? The guardian, the thing we were just standing on. Ah! Oh, nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, There's the guardian. Hell. Is is that a is that a giant crab? What is this thing? Holy hell, dude! Uh, maybe run. It's pretty large. If you go down that hallway, you probably can't reach you. Oh no! Get back, Ritzia, now! Get your claws off her! Let's go, dude. <laughs> Anime fight music activated. Looks like he might have a weak spot on his tummy. How do we get him on his tummy? Uh, back though, to to get to it? I have no idea. It doesn't have any feathers. It can't be the guardian beast, can it? Keldy, watch out behind you. Do we like throw stuff at it? Ow. <laughs> I don't I don't think that did much. Uh okay. Let's use some magic real quick. Should I just try hitting it? I didn't mean to cast that twice. I meant to cast power. Oh wait, he scared himself. <laughs> How the, how the hell did he scare himself, dude? Ow. We did we did a great job throwing that at him. I think we just had to like knock stuff at him. The to... oh god, what's he doing? Okay, so yeah, he scares himself. We just have to wait for him to charge, it looks like. So we can hit his weak spots. So far, at least, it doesn't look like we can actually scare him in any way. Can we sneak up behind him and hit him in his weak spot? Does that work? Uh, no, I'm guessing not. How do we knock him over, man? But his, his stomach it looks all like pink and weak and shit. I want to hit him there. Where'd he go? Uh, hello, Mr. Crab Bro? You're back somewhere. <laughs> there you are. Okay, no, he it's not the, the being scared that lets us hit him. It's just he, like, gets worn out or something from, from the charge. It looks like he only gets the, the scared effect thing if he runs into stuff. We're not going to catch him in time this on this go. Yeah, no. He was too far away when he popped up from underground. You going you gonna to give us a little chargey? A little chargey charge? Oh, God. Oh, shit, dude. I really wish I wouldn't have used all of those pebbles that we had earlier. Because I imagine pulling a bunch of stuff into him would probably be really helpful, actually. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Can I shoot him? No, that doesn't do shit. 
How much mana does it take for healing light? Way more than we have, apparently. Are you gonna charge me or what, bro? Oh god. I'm fine. Don't Oh dude, he's on his back. He's on his back. Let me up. Let me up. Let's go, dude. Hit him again. Hit him again. I'm gonna die. <laughs> we did we did some amount of damage, not a ton, I don't think. I called in on his stomach being a weak spot though. I knew it had to be. Where's he at? Right there. You charge him right away? Let's go. Oh shit. He recovered quick though. Is he charging again? Yes. Come on. Get him, get him, get him. He's so freaking close. Of course, we're pretty close to dying too, though, so. Oh god, we're stuck. We're stuck. <laughs> he was heading this way, so presumably he's gonna pop up. Never mind, he's gonna pop up behind me. Oh god, we're dead. We're so dead. How are we still alive? Can I, can I lock on to him, please? Oh, no! He's back! No, shit! Damn it! That was my chance! <laughs> I'm so mad at myself. <laughs> You're doing great, sweet. Thanks! I thought he was gonna kill us. I didn't realize he was gonna roll onto his back, dude. God, give us a little charge, will ya? What if I just stop for a moment? Will you give us a charge then? Come on. Come on. Charge. Damn it, dude. No. He did not hit me there. Oh, that Angel's Grace is a is a full full heal. That makes sense. Considering this is like the tutorial boss or whatever. Can I hit you right now? Oh, I can. It's probably a little risky, but I can. Oh, god damn it. Earth Acorn. Okay, where's he at? He's up. It's weird. The lock-on doesn't seem to work all that great. <laughs> like, whenever he does that charge, it kind of stayed locked on all the way over there where he, where he popped up at. We have the we have the full magic now though, so like honestly we're fine. I'm not really worried about beat him. We're definitely gonna beat him. God, he's all the way on the other side. Oh, and he's upside down too. Come on. Let's go, dude. I can't get there fast enough. There's no way. Come on. Come on. Let's go, dude. Grim mortifier my ass. More like Grim, dead of fire. <laughs> Sounds to me like you're the one disturbing the great tree slumber at the moment, dude. You're making a shit ton of noise. I'm just throwing that out there. Our score is going to be trash. <laughs> I'm calling it. You know what? Not bad. Three A's, two B's, an S, and a C. I'll take it, man. I wonder when the, the money actually comes into play, because we haven't found any like shops or anything along those lines yet. Yeah. How about you? Are you okay? Yes. All thanks to you. But 
Why did he attack you like that? First my arm, and now that thing? And we still can't find the sacred beast. What are we doing wrong? Forbidden prayers? A sealed paradise. What's it all about? Illusia is supposed to be a holy place, guarded by a sacred beast. Uh. Huh? Ritzia? Hey! No, don't! Oh, Wait, what? Don't. Please don't! Mm, what's going on? Faye's not happy. What's wrong? She's walking as if she's in a trance or something. I've been waiting. Waiting for you, maiden. Oh, uh, is someone like My locked in the tree or something? And she's gonna release it? Oh, no. This don't look good. I think we done Ritzia. fucked up, dude. Oh no, Ritzia! Hey, can you move? Ritzia! Come on, wake up! Wake up, will you? Oh good, the army made it here too. Hey, thank you so much for five more bits, love. I appreciate you. Proceed with save. We will proceed with save. But that is all the time we have for tonight, guys. I'm really enjoying Donna Man, I'm not gonna lie. As Mr. Noodle alluded to earlier, I will be putting this on my to complete list. Um, the games to complete list so you guys can vote on it if you want to see it. I don't know if we'll be rolling on it right away or not. That's still to be determined. But regardless... Yes, I'm into it. <laughs> I mean, surprise, surprise. It's a Square Enix action RPG game. I love Kingdom Hearts. I love Final Fantasy, uh, Dragon Quest. Like, I just, I like Square Enix games in general. So who would have guessed it, you know? But anyways, thank you all for coming out and hanging with me for a little bit tonight. I'll be back tomorrow with some Rim World, I suppose, right? Today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, we'll be playing some more Rim World tomorrow. After that, we'll be back with the podcast and then more PS2 goodness. So, hope you guys stick around and I hope to see you then. But for now, goodbye, have a good night, and I want to marry the god? What? Oh, in RimWorld. Oh my god, you had me so lost for a moment. <laughs> I can't control what your characters do. Your characters do what they do. So they'll have to be, uh, happen to be compatible with each other. Who knows? Maybe it'll happen. Your character's gotten around in there, Mr. Noodle. You've already had two husbands and, uh, or two wives, rather. And both of them have, uh, you know, died under mysterious circumstances so who knows <laughs> maybe you'll marry the god and maybe you'll be the reason for their downfall anyways as i was saying have a good night everyone and as always be kind to each other bye bye y'all set in one